While we're waiting for the eyes to dry, I'm gonna go in and put in a little bit more detail in all these white spots and um, add some fur and some of the fun stuff and uh, get some more details going in the white areas to provide some more definition. And I think what I'm just going to do first is just kind of wet my whole painting just so that it's not so hard. And these, by the time I get to most of these areas, it'll be almost dry again. This will help keep things soft. Okay, and then I'm going to use my little fur brush to work on some of the fur areas that are very light, but they do provide some definition of the dog. And I'm just getting um, a milk consistency on my brush in order to just put in some soft little details. I'm going to pat my brush dry to get the excess out. I don't want too much going on here. And then I'm just going to put in some strands of fur where there's This is his tail that he's got wrapped around his nose. I don't know how much you can tell from the picture I posted on the on the blog. But he's got a little he's got a very furry tail. So I'm just trying to capture that by putting in some nice long brush strokes. And then there's some shadows over here on his leg that are a little darker than what I've already got. So I'm just going to add some more definition. And then here, just add a little bit more. Not much. And it's got some shadows right here all along his eye. get more blue. That's a little too dark. I'm going to add some water and blot. Blot out the water and just uh, let's try that again. I don't want it quite so dark. Just enough to give some definition. Okay, that's better. And then this area is pretty much all in shade up here. Just adding little details. got to really watch your tones because they help a lot with defining the contours of any kind of shape including those of a dog. Okay, And there's some ground showing over here that's going to further define this edge so All ground in there and it's okay that that's soft because we definitely don't want the focus of the painting to be the legs so that this is really soft is fine. I'm using my paper towel to just blot where I don't want the paint to go. I'm going to get a little bit thicker so that I can really define 
find this edge. Okay. This back here is really dark, so I can just go ahead and Put that in like that. What I'll probably do when I do my final stages is go over this whole area with a wash of grayish blue just to push all this back because this is still too white. It's popping out too much. And um, this looks kind of weird. In the picture it makes sense because you can totally see that it's a dog but or a dog's leg, but it's kind of confusing in this painting. If I help put a shadow across here, put in some darker blues down in here, make it all kind of blend together a little bit more so there's not so much attention. Right now there's a lot of attention to this area that I really don't want there because the leg is not where I want you to focus. I'll probably get rid of this white area. In the picture this is a sunlit area on his leg, but as an artist that is not what I want because these contrasts are too strong and I don't want the attention drawn there so I'll go over there later and do a whole wash of blue over all this so his this area will pop out not this area if that makes sense <laughs> 